Hello everyone, my name is Tong Yun, the PhD candidate from the University of Hong Kong, the Department of Electrical and Electronical Engineering. Here, I want to present my research updates about the fabrication of fluorescence graphene quantum dots, cobalt silicon nanoparticles, and the potential application for targeted drug delivery and the fluorescence imaging of cancer cells. Here, I will introduce the basic background and objectives about my research work, also to present the methodology of fabrication process. Nowadays, the researchers are placing much effort on the nanocomposites with physical properties. Graphene quantum dots, the GQD, have attracted remarkable interest in drug delivery and biosensing, attributed to their tunable photoluminescence and great biocompatibility. Also, they have other advantages, including the huge area of surface, the good mechanical properties, the chemical stability, optical and electronic properties, and the advanced carrier transport mobility and flexibility. Moreover, the cobalt is gaining significant attention due to its moderate saturation magnetization and great chemical stability. The cobalt nanoparticles present promising potential in biomedical application, especially in targeted drug delivery that can alleviate the side effects of conventional chemotherapy by reducing the systematic distribution of drugs. However, there are no reports of GQD cobalt-based nanocomposites for targeted drug delivery and fluorescence imaging of cancer cells. Motivated by the advantages of GQD cobalt-based nanoparticles, in this work, we fabricated the novel nanoparticles based on the GQD cobalt and investigated their potential application as the fluorescence nanoprobe for the tumor targeted drug delivery. Here is the schematic illustration about the whole process. The GQDs were synthesized by the carbonization of citric acid. The cobalt, ion of the cobalt was synthesized via the thermal decomposition. The surface modification of cobalt nanoparticles with silica and amine group enabled the covalent bonding with GQDs. Then, the attached folic acid lead to the tumor target delivery and the intracellular release of anti-cancer drug DOX in the HALA cells. And the experimental setup about the monodispersed cobalt nanoparticles were achieved by one pot reaction. The mixture containing the precursor surfactant were heated to 200 degrees centigrade for one hour and then hit the two reflux at 280 degree centigrade for another hour. After cooled to room temperature by removing the heating source, the mixture was purified by precipitating and dissolving operations using the acetone and chloroform solvents for several times to remove the excessive surfactants. And the synthesized cobalt nanoparticles were dispersed in the mixed solution containing the DI water and the ethanol. Then the ammonium hydroxide was acted to react it for 15 minutes under steering and heating conditions. Then the TOS solution was added to react for 8 hours. Finally, the above the prepared mixture was washed with ethanol for three times and redispersed in 6 ml ethanol. The above prepared material cobalt silicon nanoparticles were added dropwise the solution containing the APTS dissolved in ethanol and continued to react for 8 hours. During the process of reaction, the cinnamon interacted with methyl group in APTS 
to make connected amino groups on the surface of cobalt silicon nanoparticles. The GQDs were synthesized by the carbonization of citric acid. Typically, the citric acid was heated to 200 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. Then the generated yellow liquid was added dropwise in 10 milliliter of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution. The blue lumilescent GQD aqueous solution was obtained after the neutralization. The conjugation of GQDs with amino functionalized cobalt silicon nanoparticles was achieved by the classical carbodimide crossing linking chemistry between carboxyl group of GQDs and amine group of cobalt silicon nanoparticles. Briefly, 50 mg of EDC and 10 mg of NHS was added to 10 ml of GQD solution and incubated for 30 minutes in dark environments. Subsequently, the amino functionalized cobalt nanoparticle were added to conjugate with GQDs, followed by adding 50 mg folic acid and 70 mg NHS in MES buffer at room temperature. The morphology of cobalt nanoparticles was studied using TEN. The resulting cobalt nanoparticles possess an average size of 50.3 nanometers, as shown in figure 2a. And the crystal structure of the cobalt nanoparticles were identified by XRD. The position and the intensities of the diffraction peaks coincide with the standard diffraction data of inverse spinet structure cobalt nanoparticles. The spherical GQDs with the average size of 3 nanometers showed the blue fluorescence and the 365 nanometers UV light and no fluorescence in bright field compared with the black solvents presented in figure 3 B and C indicating the rendered blue fluorescence property of the fabricated GQDs. And the zeta potential values confirmed the fabrication process of nanoparticles. The measured cobalt nanoparticles modified with silica shows zeta potential is negative as expected from the surface synonymous groups and confirmed that the cobalt nanoparticles were successfully covered by the silica shell. And the potential of the amine functionalized cobalt nanoparticles shifts towards the positive side and has a positive potential because of the successfully modified with the amino of APTS. Finally, the negative direction of the zeta potential about the cobalt silica connected with GQD, indicating the successful covalent bonding between the GQD and the silica nanoparticles. In addition, there are further optimization in future work, such as to explore the drug loading capacity onto cobalt silica GQD folic acid nanoparticles, to qualitative and quantitative analysis of cellular drug release in vitro of the cobalt silica GQD conjugated with folic acid nanoparticles and to perform the fluorescence imaging of cobalt silica GQD folic acid of living HeLa cells and to investigate the biocompatibility of fabricated nanoparticles with cytotoxicity ass assessment and to evidence the therapeutic efficacy of this cobalt silica GQD folic acid nanoparticles for HeLa cells. In summary, we fabricated the fluorescence cobalt silica GQD conjugated with folic acid nanoparticles and explored the potential application for targeted drug neurology and fluorescence imaging of cancer cells. 
this GQD cobalt-based nanocomposite could be a promising platform for cancer therapy, leading to further developments of intelligent anti-cancer drug carrier. And this research was supported by the state funding program for basic research, state funding program for applied research, and a small project funding program from the University of Hong Kong, RGC GIF grant, ITF tier 3 funding, and the University Grants Committee of Hong Kong. And thank you very much for the organizing committee of nanophotonic